Okay, I hope I'm in frame. Question mark? I don't know. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Margarita, and if you're not new, hi, hello, and welcome back. And for today's video for Spooktober, I actually got requested from my best friend's sister, Katya. Shout out to Natalia, that's my best friend. But her sister, Katya, wants me to do a, like, catwalk, but something that's, like, kind of simple and not too, like, dramatic. Sorry. It's gonna be kind of weird because it's like I've never done anything for like Halloween like really simple like that But I guess it's like good that I'm actually like expanding things out Actually the last time I did like a cat look <laughs> Was probably when I was like either in ninth or tenth grade in high school if I can find the picture I will literally put it up here on the screen I really hope you guys can't hear the people outside. They are talking so loud. On top of that, I really hope you guys can't hear Minnie meowing. She is in heat. Before we get into this video, don't forget to grab a snack and a drink because I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this. A Red Bull. Water. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. But before, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And uh, let's go. So I'm going to be doing a nude eyeshadow look. So um, no colors here today. So I'm going in with the Smashbox 24-hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. And all I'm going to do is just apply that to my eyelids. Red Bull, if you want to sponsor me, that would be amazing. It's never going to happen, but... A girl can dream. Ooh, especially with the water. <sighs> this is my favorite Red Bull. Fun fact, actually, I did not like Red Bulls until I found out that they had a watermelon one, which was this year, I believe. Yeah, it was this year that I found out about it, and I fell in love with them, and I would go crazy. Like, people would always buy them, and every time I would see it, I would tell Cameron, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let me grab, like, four of them. And I would spend a lot of money on it. But um, I have a lot of Red Bulls, actually. You know what? I should put up a TikTok. When I first got the Red Bulls, I went crazy because they had like an amazing sale. So like, I bought a lot. So insert the TikTok here. So I asked Cameron to pick a palette for like the neutrals. <laughs> So Cameron picked out the Naked 3 Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. The only reason why he picked it is because this shade right here, wait, which one? This shade right here, this shade. This shade right here, it says trick. So he's like, you know, there's like trick or treat, so like this palette. I'm like, okay. Okay, so I'm using a fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics in the brush six. I'm going to go ahead into the shade Liar, and I'm going to go ahead and just do circular motions all in the crease. So I saw that ColourPop released a new palette, and uh, insert the picture, and I go to Cameron, and I'm like, look at the palette. And then he's like, those aren't even the colors. And I'm like, what? I use greens and golds? I think it's because like he kind of saw it, it was like, it looks more like a neutral eyeshadow palette. I literally want to make this eyeshadow look as simple as possible and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just wing it out just a little bit. Like I don't want to do too much. I'm just whatever's like left on the product. I'm just gonna wing it out like kind of like up. Like you can dip into the palette again and pick up a little bit of product but you want to be careful because sometimes there could be a lot of product on there, depending on what eyeshadow palette you use. And next thing you know, it could be like a harsh line. So we want to avoid the harsh line. And boom, quick. All right, so the next thing I am taking is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the back of my hand. Shout out to Amber for telling me to buy this concealer. I'm taking some concealer on a flat brush and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease. I'm going to do a half cut crease. Yay, after 28 years, I finally cut the crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another flat brush. This is from Luxie. 
and this is the 24 or no yeah 24 5 245 small shader and I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade stranger which is this white shade so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pat the shade stranger onto where I just cut the crease with the same fluffy brush, I'm going in with the same shade Liar, and I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse the white shade or the lighter shade with the darker shade, with the brown shade, just so there isn't any like rough edges. Like there's not like a really weird like crease cut, half crease cut, like you want it to be blended in. All right, and then the last shade that I'm gonna be using in this palette is Treat. I mean trick and if you guys know me already you guys are probably gonna know where the shimmer shade is gonna go in the inner corner oh, this is so pretty i'm taking this flat brush and it's from moda pro and this is the bmx 402 smudger brush and i'm actually taking it on the lower lash line and i'm connecting the wing like the eyeshadow right over here it winged out just so it's like all one. So for the next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner on here and do, you know, the cat eye, you know? And I am taking the LA Girl Gel Liner in the shade Black. This is the best gel eyeliner I've ever used. So I'm taking this angle liner brush, this is from BH Cosmetics, it is the brush 12. Now all I'm gonna do is just do a simple cat liner, cat wing, wing liner, cat. <sighs> okay. We breathe in, we breathe out, and now we don't hold our breath until the eyeliner is done. Alright, so my wing eyeliner is done. This is probably the prettiest wing liner I've ever done and that I will ever have. But I bet the next one is going to be either like more up or more down, like ugh. Now with the gel liner, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it in my waterline. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start to create like a little triangle, a little triangle in the inner corner. All right, that's the best it's gonna get. If I continue, I'm gonna end up looking more like a panda than a cat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and we'll be back and do the face makeup. Yay, I'm back. Finally, I applied some eyelashes, some mascara. I am using the House of Lashes in the style Iconic. And the mascara that I'm using is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. It is amazing. Onto the cat look and then we're pretty much done. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I wanna do a brown nose with a brown lip or a black nose. I feel like I should do a brown one. Let's see how that's gonna turn out. I am gonna be taking the Wet n Wild face palette and I'm just gonna be taking this brown shade right here. You can use like whatever you have. You don't have to use ex this exact palette. You can literally use an eyeliner. You can use blush, eyeshadow for it. Pretty much what I'm gonna start to do now is go ahead and start to paint on my nose. Fun fact, I actually have a heart on my nose and that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is drawing the heart or filling in the heart. And you want to get underneath the nostrils and you want to bring it down. This makes me look like a bear. I'm gonna try it with the darker brown and see what it looks like. Okay, so now, <laughs> I look like a bear. I don't know if I'm gonna fix my nose. I might, I might not. I'm just gonna wing it out and see. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is draw a line right in the middle of my cupid bow. I look like a little bear. Am I a bear or am I a kitty cat? Honestly, if you leave it like this, you can be either or. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab the ColourPop lippy stick. I am taking the primer, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my top lip. And then now I'm gonna be taking the lippy stick in Ziggy from ColourPop, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my top lip where I put the primer on. I'm just gonna do the nose again, and I'm just gonna take the same shade Ziggy from ColourPop, and I'm just gonna use that as my nose.
And then now I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line going down. So using the liner brush, I'm gonna go ahead and like create like a little line right here just to give it like a little swoop effect, little like smile, I guess. Kind of like this. I don't want my bottom lip to look so plain, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some lip gloss. I'm using the So Juicy lip gloss from ColourPop. And this one's the clear one, it's called Princess Cut. I'm gonna try really hard not to like smack my lips. I love this lip gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the same eyeliner from LA Girl, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my whiskers and like the little dots to my face. That's so cute. Okay, so you can either stop here or you can go ahead and do the whiskers. This is so cute. I love the little lines. That looks way too long. She's kind of cute. Man, my whiskers are about to be so uneven like my eyeliner. <laughs> oh my gosh. These whiskers over here look so sad. Oh my gosh, I need to fix them. These look so bad. Okay, I fixed my, my whisker, kind of. All right guys, so this right here is the finished look. I think it's super cute, like, it's a cute kitty cat, ooh, you know? I really stepped out of my comfort zone. I don't know what to say about this look, like this look is so cute. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little cat look. I found it pretty fun, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on doing a super cute cat for Halloween. Uh. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and comment down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!